Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel and today I will be showing you how to make these wands step by step. I'm actually going to make one of these mini wands first but what you will need what you will need is any bead of your choice a toothpick and if you want to make one of the bigger wands, use a chopstick. But in this video, I will just be showing you how to make the small wand. And you will need hot glue sticks, probably not that much. And a hot glue gun, some paint, You'll need like a metallic undercoat and then the coat that you want your wand in. And you'll need a brush. Oh, I'm just using this little sponge brush. And yeah. So I don't own the background. I am actually going to be doing this on a paper plate. I will get everything laid out and I will get back to you. Okay, I am back, and I have got everything laid out, and while my hot glue gun is heating up, I'm just going to put one of the hot glue sticks in and just leave one there. I am going to tell you what we're going to do with this. So this is the chopstick that we're going to use, and this is the bead and just going to pick a hole and shove it right on just like that and as you can see it can't move it's not coming off but i will can't think of any words today but i will hot glue it that's the word i was thinking of and I will come back to you when my hot glue gun is done heating up. I'm just leaving these like here for um, ideas. I don't know. I don't really know. My hot glue gun is done heating up. So with the ball, we're going to hot glue just like right around there. And there is how you want it to look. There. You can like bring it up and around and stuff. Well, that didn't attach very well. So the idea of this part is to just like put the hot glue on to where you want it and to secure the bead into place. hot glue webs. I don't like them, so I'm just swirling my hand here until it goes away. And you kind of want to wait till it's cool enough to mold, and you can like shape it how you want. and something like that you want it to look like that or something similar to that and then you just want to keep adding hot glue down to where you want it so i'm gonna stop like about probably like about here so i will loop this one on camera just to like demonstrate for you but you're just gonna like leave it like that and then gonna blow on it so it cools faster. And then just like mold it with my fingers once it gets 
to that point of coolness that I wanted to get at. And I will get back to you once I'm done some of it, and then I will show you the rest. Okay, so I am done the design. And now what you want to do is get rid of all the webs and extra fabric, or not fabric, extra strings that you may have. And when it's done drying, you will take your paintbrush and in your metallic paint, your metallic paint is what you want your undercoat to be. I just like to tap some of it off like that. Just like rub it onto there. actually have to use the hot glue gun again because the top of this broke right there. So, oops, I'm going to paint around that for now. It actually just completely came off of that. Don't know what's wrong with that bead, but we're going to make it stick. I'll get back to you when I'm done, all done painting this and it is dry. Now, after I did silver, I went over with black and I actually think it looks really good. Um, and you can make big or small wands. I I can't really think of anything. I think this was a really cute craft and I will do it again. Um, just make sure to be careful on the edges there because that part is pointy. And then I, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you all next time. Hope you guys have a good day.